สวัสดีครับสวัสดีค่ะ So right now we're in Ao Nang town, the very beachfront. If you ever gonna come to Ao Nang or Krabi, you're probably gonna come to this area here because it's the most touristy area. And lately we've been having quite a lot of messages from you guys asking, what is it like during monsoon season in southern Thailand? And we just decided to make a whole video about that. Yeah, so rainy season here in Krabi and southern Thailand around Phuket area near the Andaman Sea started in May and lasts until October. So. It's June now. We're pretty much in the rainy season. As you can see, it's not actually raining right now. Though. Yeah, um, it's a little bit cloudy, but as you can see, there's sun right now. But to be honest, it's not like this every single day, no, is it? I think there's a very big misconception about the idea of rainy season in Southeast Asian countries that we kind of want to talk about today. We've been traveling in a few different countries around Southeast Asia over the past few years, and the idea of rainy season isn't like it's. It doesn't really mean that it's going to rain every single day. And the climate does change a little bit when it comes to the entire Southeast Asia. So you probably know, like landlocked countries such as Laos, doesn't get as many storms as here down south where the beaches are. Me and Olivia came here around six months ago, and we felt like Ao Nang was way busier than it is today. And this is the pretty much the busiest Ao Nang strip. I mean, have a look at this. It's kind of crazy because when tourism was kind of kicking off again here in Thailand, we thought it was going to be. Busier now than it actually is, but because we're going into low season, it's actually not as busy as we thought it was going to be. There's way less people around. It's yeah. kind of going backwards a bit, but I think by October, November time, it's probably going to be busy again. But right? it is really nice, you know. So the pros are, you know, for this monsoon season that there's not a lot of tourism. But another thing is, uh, how often do you get to enjoy the beaches? Because to be honest. Um, It does rain. It, it's not like it's not raining. It really does rain. Luckily, it's not raining at this moment. But uh, not long ago, Olivia's parents came here for a visit, and we were really enjoying. Like the first week, it yeah. didn't really rain much. Like it was really good. And then we decided to go for a little trip to Koh Lanta. <laughs> and as soon as we arrived, it was still kind of cloudy. But the next two days, it was absolutely terrible. It was pissing down. It was really heavy yeah. storms, strong winds. You couldn't even go to the sea. I mean, the, the waves were so so high. Apparently, Olivia's dad nearly drowned as well. Like that's crazy, and he was like serious about it. So yeah. you know, when it comes to like this this weather, um, like I said, it could it's like a lottery. You know, uh, if you do check like weather apps for it, it's an absolute waste of time because these things will always say that it's a storm, and when it comes to storms, it's a scattered thunderstorm. So it comes, it rains for half an hour, and then it goes away. Yeah, it can be very unpredictable when it comes to checking the weather app. Usually, the best thing to do is wake up in the morning and look at the sky, and you'll kind of have an idea of if it's going to rain or not. Yeah. It really is as simple as that here in Thailand, in South Thailand, and countries like this. Because sometimes we would look at the weather app, and then an hour later, it's completely changed. So Literally. really unpredictable. So let's get closer to the actual beach to see what it is like right now. And the water goes really high up. It's not very inviting. It definitely is not the best conditions we've seen so far. It's probably the worst we've seen so far. Really wavy. I know, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. The, it's just, yeah, it's different. I mean, don't get me wrong. If you've never been to Thailand and you're planning on coming during monsoon season, you will still enjoy it. The beaches are still really beautiful, but they're not. The most perfect beaches because in other times of the year they are a little bit more chill. So we've been here for six months and we just want to share our personal experience with the weather with you guys. So actually, it was supposed to be the dry season when we were here for those six months, but during February, we actually had a lot of rain. Apparently, it was some of the biggest rainfall during a dry season that Thailand has seen in a long time. So yeah, that was pretty strange. It kind of rained a little bit earlier than it's supposed to, but yeah. it, it does happen, you know, quite a lot. But Uh, officially, that whole monsoon season is kind of starting right now, and in the next month, it's supposed to be even worse. It's supposed to rain even more. Don't know how much truth there is because, as you probably know already, you know the climate is changing, the weather is changing. You know, in some parts it doesn't rain anymore, in some parts it rains too much, and it's just we can see that effect here in Thailand as well. The main reason you're watching this video is to find out what's it like during monsoon season here in Thailand. And if you are planning a trip to Thailand or a holiday during monsoon season, you know what to expect is like it's really hard to predict because, to be honest, first of all, you can't be planning up to say like, oh, I'm gonna do this one seven, one week, seven days, and it's never gonna rain. That's not happening. You know, it's most likely will rain. You know, uh, you can't plan up for like a day trip 
if you do look at like weather wraps like I mentioned previously they're not gonna help you it's always gonna be a thunderstorm so it's entirely up to you as you can see right now it's not raining it's actually really nice you know a bit of sun not too sunny like it's ideal but in the next hour it could probably rain or not and we don't know that you know that's the one thing about rainy season here you never know when it's gonna rain and the rain just comes and goes comes and goes you know it's just crazy like that yeah and I think another problem in the rainy season is if you're wanting to do a lot of boat tours especially around the Krabi Phuket area it's gonna be quite hard to know which day you can actually do it when we wanted to do the Maya Bay tour we had planned we were gonna do it one day but the driver told us first thing in the morning it's not happening today it's yeah. too windy and it could be really dangerous actually to go out yeah there. and that, well like I believe I mentioned that it is really hard you know especially if you're coming here for like only like a couple of weeks and you have yeah. limited amount of time and you're trying to get as many tours as possible that could be a little bit in your way or you just don't mind maybe doing a tour when it's a little bit cloudy or rainy but like Olivia said some of them could be cancelled so it's just one of those really yeah and another issue is that there are because it's low season there are less boats running to the islands so it's not going to be as easy to organize a boat there yeah. they do still run but way less but yeah this is pretty much what it's like during the monsoon season here in Thailand and if you have already purchased your tickets to come here during monsoon season don't worry there is really a lot of nice days and even when it rains a little bit it's not that bad in fact it is so hot here so it's actually quite nice for a change it yeah. gets a little bit refreshing and stuff like that so we quite enjoy that so august and september are the rainiest months here in krabi phuket andaman sea area and that's also when maya bay is going to be closed to the public for conservation so Maybe don't come in August and September if you really, really wanted to see the Maya Bay and all of that stuff because you're not going to be able to. But apart from that, you're going to be able to enjoy it with a lot less tourists. And yeah, it's still going to be beautiful. It's still going to be the same old Thailand. Just saw a guy holding some parrots. So I up. Wow. He's sitting on that lady's arm. Nice. <laughs> But yeah, as you can see, there's still a lot of action. People taking some photos with some parrots. It is really nice here. I mean, the rainy season is the rainy season. It's not as bad as you probably think. It's not as bad as this state online. It's constantly raining. Really, if you already have your tickets, don't you worry. Come here, you're gonna enjoy your time. But like we said previously, you know, there are a few downers, but it's not like it's the end of the world. Thailand in general is a really beautiful country, no matter what time of the year.